Hi guys, welcome back to the Big Sew Along. I'm Ginny and today, as always, I thank you very much for stopping by and spending a little time with me. I really do appreciate it. I have a quick little video today because uh, I'm recording this on a Tuesday. Not that that matters. I'm trying to get some alterations done today. I have a pair of pants to him for my husband. And um, my hairdresser, uh, do you still call them hairdressers? Or hairstylist? My, my BFF always makes fun of me because she says hairstylist. And when I say hairdresser, she says it makes me sound like my grandmother. But I still say hairdresser. Anyway, um, my hair gal <laughs> is about as big as a minute. And she asked me a couple weeks ago if I would... Um, shorten the straps on some jumpers she called them no she called them jumpsuits she said I have a couple of jumpsuits would you mind shortening the straps of course not no problem that's easy enough so she hands me these I'm going to show you up so you, so you can see here I'm going to stand up she hands me these <laughs> this. now I don't know about you guys but I would not call this a jumpsuit I would call this a leotard <laughs> Or um, a bodysuit. I think back in the 80s and 90s. Um, anyways, it doesn't matter. That's what I'm working on today. Um, I did want to tell you guys a couple of things from last week. Um, I think it was Jen suggested that I, uh, I... I was talking about remaking those pants, my Arthur pants, last week. And um, she suggested that I do a video on how I did that which really killed me because I actually made a video of that. Um, I spent a fair amount of time planning it out and I did the video, I recorded it and everything. And when it was all done, I thought, oh, Judy, that's so stupid. Nobody wants to watch that. So I just deleted it. And then I had that message from Jen and I was like, oh, I could kick myself. Anyways, um, I do like that idea and I am going to do that um, for the next pair that I fix, which should be not too long because I have a stack of about six pairs of pants I'm trying to decide what to do with. They're either going to go to the scrap bin or they're going to get remade into something else. So we'll see. I should have some more remakes for you guys. Um, the other thing is Phyllis, I was talking to you guys last week about my um, debacle with ordering extra taco magazines. So Phyllis suggested that since I will now have two of issue number five, I should do a giveaway for one. I will do that. Um, I think that's a great idea. I definitely do not need two of these. Um, I like it a lot, but I don't need to. Um, so I don't have these yet. I can't remember now where I ordered mine from. I think I actually ordered mine directly from Taco uh, Magazine. Anyways, they should be here any day. As soon as I get it in my hands, I will do a giveaway here. Um, for you guys. I don't want to do that beforehand in case it doesn't show up for some reason and I end up having to give away the one that I do have because that sounds like something that would happen to me. Additionally, oh now I feel bad. Someone, one of you guys told me that um, Lakes Makery in Minneapolis also carries Taco Magazine if you're interested in getting it um, here in the U.S. I have ordered it from them before from Lakes Makery and they're very fast. Okay. The other thing, I mean, this does not apply to anybody except people in the U.S. who have their patterns printed at pdfplotting.com or have them printed anywhere but might want to be interested in this. So pdfplotting.com is where I've always gotten my PDF patterns printed and they've always come on paper that's like the weight of um, copy shop paper. Uh, yeah, copy girl paper. PDF Plotting now offers something they call newsprint. I guess it is actually newsprint. But it's this lightweight paper. Um, I don't know wherever you are in the rest of the world, if you have somebody who does PDF, this large scale PDF printing on newsprint, I highly, highly recommend it because. Um, it takes up so much less room. It's less expensive to ship because it's not as heavy. And this is, 
these are not AO sheets. This is one giant US printer sheet, but it's really, it's huge. And this is nothing compared to some of the patterns that I've had. I mean, yeah, they fold up to nothing and it makes storing them so much easier. They, they just started doing this at PDF plotting. This is the first time I've, I've received those in that, um, uh, what's it called, newsprint forum. But I just wanted to tell you guys that I, I'm really loving them. So if you have that option, you should try it out. The other thing, what I was uh, my original intention was to talk to you guys about my knit shirts and knit tops and t-shirts today. I have been a little bit obsessed with them for the last probably month. Um, however, as usual, I got a bit derailed. Oh, you know what I also have to say about the Taco Magazine? In case you haven't seen it, um, Catherine from So Much Sewing just did a uh, review on the Solvi jacket from Taco Magazine. And I mentioned her last week and I forgot to leave a link to her channel. So I will definitely remember to leave a link to her channel below today, just in case anybody's interested in seeing a, a review of one of those taco patterns. I know I was. Okay, so back to my t-shirts and knit tops. So, I did actually do a few tops, but I also got a little distracted and made a couple pairs of pants. Um, and one of the tops, hang on one second, I'm going to grab the pattern. All right, sorry about that. My phone decided to do something crazy with my uh, pictures. Okay, so this picture here is Vogue um, 1733. This is a Marcy Tilton pattern. This is View B and a size medium, and I shortened it at the waist two inches. Um, I think that was enough. I could have shortened it more if I wanted to, but I think the length is fine. This fabric is a rayon spandex jersey. This is from MarcyTolton.com, and if it's still available, I'll link to it below. But if it's not available, Marcy Tilton has like a huge selection of stripes if you happen to be into stripes. So check those out. I didn't really do any other alterations to this um, t-shirt. I could have made the sleeves a little bit shorter maybe, but I don't, it doesn't really bother me that they're a little bit longer. So I just left them. Um, here's a detailed picture of the side slit, which I really like. Um, I wasn't, I can't remember. I can't remember. I think Marcy Tilton usually does like a good, um, what's it called mitered hem and I don't recall this being that way I think I had some sort of a minor issue with the hem on this just be aware of that I could be wrong but I think that that's the case the other thing is I did make view a in this pattern as well I made that also in a rayon lycra jersey that one was from Emma one sock um, I don't have a picture for you guys because I'm a dingbat I gave it away before I took a picture of it I had it, I wore it to work. It was very cute, it fit really well, the fabric was great, I loved everything about it except that when I bought that fabric, for some reason I was really into green and orange and those are just not colors I really wear. So my friend Pat was here, those are great colors on her, she loved that shirt. I just gave it to her and let her take it home. But that means I don't have a picture for you. Let me just say though, that I did the exact same thing in view A. I cut two inches, I short, shortened it two inches at the waist for me, and that was the only alteration I made. I could have, because that one hits, because it's not like a tunic length, it's like a shirt length that hits a little bit lower, I could easily take out another inch in the waist of that one and it would be great. But everything else was perfect, I had no issues with it at all. Um, I wanted to say in this picture here that I was showing you I, with this t-shirt, I'm also wearing one of the pairs of pants that I made last week. Um, these pants are the Cutting Line Designs One Seam Pant, and I made these in a wide rib cotton knit, which sounds a little kooky, and it's not 100% opaque, but because I always wear it under a tunic. I don't think it really matters. Um, they're super, super comfy. I love these pants. 
Um, again, if the fabric is still available, I'll, I'll link for it below, link to it below, but I, I'm not sure. I'll see if I can find it. Um, I have made these pants a number of times. This is the first time I've made them in a knit, and I was really happy with the way they came out. The knit does stretch a little bit, so, um, like, the weight of the fabric pulls it down a little bit, so I did end up shaving about an inch off the top before I put my elastic on. Okay, so... Next up, I have this t-shirt from, which is the Mandy, this is the Mandy Boat Tee from Tasuti Patterns. This is a free pattern over on Tasuti Fabrics. This first one here is in a another rayon spandex jersey, also, again, from MarcyChildren.com. Now, this is the issue with buying fabrics online, right? I think this fabric is really cute, but when I bought it, I thought it was red and pink, and really the colors are more like rust and neon orangey pink, which is fine. Like the neon orangey pink would have been okay with me. Not crazy about the rust. So it's hard to tell sometimes on a monitor, but I guess that's what you get, right? Um, so this first one, I made this twice. This first one was a size three, which is, I think I'm kind of between the size two and the size three in this Mandy boat tee. Um, so I chose to make the size three, which is this one. Um, and I'm, I'm going to show you a couple of pictures so you can see, like, the sleeve is pretty snug. It's a loose, boxy tee. There's no treatment on the neckline. It's just a, like you just fold it over and sew it down. Um... You can see I used the full length sleeves. You can see how long they are. I think this came out really cute. Um, and I really like it, especially in this fabric. But I decided to make another one, which is this one here. This one is a 100% cotton waffle weave knit. And I got this from a vendor on Etsy. Again, I'll link that below. They have some, if you like like sort of soft organic colors, these people have some really good ones. Um, the fabric's lovely. It washes really nicely. Anyways, in this one, I made a size. I went down a size. I went to a size two. And just so you can see, like the difference between the two. Aside from that, I did no alterations to either of these tops. Um, and you can see in this picture, I'm st I'm still wearing those um, one seam pants. Then what else do I have? The only other thing I have is these pants. I made these West End pants from the sewing workshop. I um, was talking to one of you guys, and I apologize now because I can't remember, in the comments a few weeks ago about the, um, the origami skirt from sewing workshop. And if you wanted something with that sort of feel to it, this is definitely not the same thing. This is just like a wide leg palazzo pant. But... It is a really easy pant to put together. I did not do any alterations to this except for shortening the leg two inches, which is my standard. Um, I did nothing else to this. This fabric is a rayon chalet. It's 100% rayon chalet. I'm gonna see if I can have a picture of it up close so you can see the print. It's got these really cute little um, icons all over it in white and I am pretty sure I got that fabric from Emma one sock um, anyways yeah if you were looking for a loose easy quick satisfying make I highly recommend that West End pant it is it was I yeah I had no issues with it whatsoever went together like a dream all right, guys, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. I always forget something, and then as soon as I shut the camera off, I'm like, oh, I meant to say that. So let me just think for a sec. All right, guys, I guess that is it for me this week. I thank you all very much again for stopping by and spending time with me. I really do appreciate it. I also really appreciate all the comments you guys leave. Um, I will hopefully have that new taco magazine issue number five to do a giveaway next week i can't imagine it should take too much longer to get here um and i don't know what else we'll have next week i guess we'll just wait and see what inspires me all right until then you guys happy sewing <laughs>